Good morning, folks. We'll start the only place we can start this morning, Chile. An 8.2 magnitude earthquake struck the coastline just before the new day UTC. Last night, we did about 30 minutes of analysis and discussion on a Google Hangout you can all watch here on YouTube. Updates as of this morning are that there are only about five confirmed dead. It's terrific news. That number may rise, but the bigger story is the orderly evacuation from the coastline and the humanity shown among the Chilean people. We were very worried on our initial look. The buoys went into event mode very quickly. We noted a 1.5 meter buoy deviation and predicted 7 to 12 foot waves on the coastline. In reality, it was the extreme low end. 6.9 feet, 6 feet, 6.6 feet of tsunami. We were thinking at very worst it could be 15 to 20 feet but this was much better. Six feet is still not a joke by any stretch of the imagination, but it's just simply much lower of a wave than could have been produced. We had aftershocks all night. Had yet another volcano go into event status as well. Kamchatka has a kilometer tall ash cloud rising from just inland of the southeast coast. We're going to use Stellarium here, a free internet program, to see what the stars have in store for us. Now while you can still see Venus burning brighter than anything else just before sunrise, Mars and Saturn are pretty big as well and prominent nearly all night long. Mars is within one week of solar opposition. We're coming close as we get to Mars all year long and it's at its brightest point in our sky. The precipitable water overlay on the wind map reveals moisture diving up over Australia. We expect the precipitation to continue all day in some locations. Meanwhile, in Europe, They've still got that low at the western coastlines and its motion, yet again, is to shift north rather than east across the land. Europe's weather alarm is showing calm, but I know we must be getting some storm conditions along the coastline and even a bit inland. Look at all that low pressure in the U.S. southwest. This dominates the scene today and converges air masses from Canada, the dry southwest, and even the warm, moist Gulf of Mexico. Pulling all those differences together like that is what will cause the equalization energetic events in the form of severe weather below. Check warnings, tonight could get rough in this area. Let's come to Cyclone Helen. She was just a baby when the Uyen system predicted her rise. And as she was peaking, we had seen calm space weather conditions move in, and she has since weakened. We said that when the CME impacts occurred, we'd get a re-intensification or a new storm forming. But neither of those have happened, because the shock waves have not struck our planet yet. We can now say they are weaker and much slower than expected. At least one and as many as three CMEs are coming, still on the way, and the cosmic ray reduction may suggest the clouds are close. Sunspots. The central grouping continues to grow and has NASA's full attention, but does appear to anyone else that the magnetics are completely separated here? It appears that way to me. We still have complexity incoming on the south, but it's so odd to have the large umbra trailing instead of in the lead, and she's been calm. Up top, they're flexing for the mirror, but not popping off when it's game time. Frankly, the top eruptive threat, in my opinion, is the incoming plasma filaments on the south. Dark and skinny and ready to release. Something interesting about that central sunspot, if you remember the cloud swirl above sunspots which matches the cloud swirl here on Earth, that was from just two days ago in March 31st news. Great example of that exact same thing, magnetic patterns above the current central disk sunspot. Yesterday we knew that the earthquake watch would ramp in the evening, but we could have never guessed it would be to an 8.2. Please check out last night's upload to hear more about the coronal hole power, how it changed throughout the day, and two unexpected space weather developments that occurred in the immediate lead up to that earthquake. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.